Good morning, church family. It's a lovely sunny morning out there, and welcome to the rectory study. Uh, we are all confined, aren't we, to our homes, and uh, likewise, I'm confined to the study now uh, to be able to do this broadcast with you. I hope you're coping in this new way of living that we're all experiencing at this time, and praying the Lord would keep you safe and that uh, he'd draw near to you and enable you to know him more during these dark seasons. I'd like to encourage you with some words from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 13. It says this, For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Those words were spoken to a people in exile, a people in a desperate situation, something similar to the one we find ourselves today. And they remind us that God is there for us to hold our hand through it all. Yesterday we received confirmation from the Church of England and from the government that churches across the country are to close uh, for all purposes, including for solitary private prayer uh, and for live streaming of broadcasts. This is uh, an unprecedented step, but it's one that is important to make uh, and we are fully supportive of that because the purpose of that is to save lives and to protect the NHS. St Andrews and All Saints Church were locked up last night, they will remain locked and uh, I know that's painful for many of you to hear, uh, but it's a good reminder to us all that church is not about the building, it's about the people, it's about you, uh, it's about us together. Uh, we are the people God's called. We are his church. And it's lovely to hear so many stories of ways in which St Andrews and All Saints Church folk people are remaining in contact with one another. There is one exception for church buildings remaining open, and that is if they are offering a support, either food or medicine delivery, to vulnerable people. And I'm delighted to say that our for, uh, coffee house uh, food delivery service is functioning well and there's been a good take up from both our church and our community. Uh, it's been shared on social media. We are working together with the Waterside Self-Isolation Support Group and with the Crossings to provide a service which is uh, helping those who are most at need in our community. Uh, do uh, pass that on to people who you think uh, may benefit from that service. My thanks go to Jo Snocken and her team of coffeehouse staff and the delivery driver volunteers who are making that work at the moment, albeit in a very safe and socially distant way. Our Sunday services, we uh, will change again. We had a, a lovely feedback from uh, our Facebook live stream last Sunday. So many people were able to join in with that and to benefit from it and uh, the goalposts have been moved again. So we are having to reinvent church for this Sunday, and that's partly why I want to speak to you now, and that's to encourage you, if at all possible, to see if you can join us on a new platform called Zoom. Uh, that's what we're going to trial this Sunday. Uh, we've uh, done a trial video and put it up on our YouTube and website to show you a bit about what that might look like if you're confused by it. Uh, but I know many of you have been using it already, which is terrific. Uh, it's a way of uh, virtually connecting with each other face to face. And uh, we're hoping it's going to uh, enable us to gather together virtually uh, and to enjoy worship together. So uh, we are doing a trial of that this afternoon at four o'clock. Uh, I've sent you a, an email this morning with a link to click to see if you can access that. Uh, we're also going to have another trial on Saturday morning at 10.30 uh, with the hope of uh, uh, having our formal worship service uh, on Sunday morning at 10.30 as usual. Uh, we're going to have some, some singing, uh, we're going to have uh, some Bible readings, we're going to have some prayers uh, and I'm going to be uh, preaching. So it will feel hopefully like a, a regular Sunday service with a bit of a twist. We are looking at ways of uh, communicating with you on a more regular basis and things are developing uh, very rapidly. But the staff team are going to try a regular thought for the day uh, at 11 o'clock each morning from Monday to Friday. 
Now that will be initially on Facebook Live and then it will be uploaded to YouTube. So do follow that through. It will be contain the Bible reading of the day, a uh, short thought from either Ian, our Associate Minister, or Serena, our Children's and Families Worker, or me. And uh, there'll be an opportunity to pray the Lord's Prayer together too. It's been great to have prayer requests coming into church, either to the office uh, or through home groups. Many of you uh, have been uh, putting your prayer requests in and that we've been receiving prayer requests from our community too. And it's uh, fantastic to be able to continue praying at this time. And so we are getting together as a staff team to pray through these requests. And we're also looking at uh, other ways of setting up uh, virtual prayer meetings during the week. Uh, I know some of you are already meeting as home groups virtually on Zoom, which is wonderful. Many of you I know are sharing prayer requests and, and WhatsApp uh, uh, news and encouragement on, on, uh, in your home group chats, which is lovely to hear. And uh, the final thing I wanted to say is uh, take care of yourselves over the next few days and weeks. Uh, my prayer is that this time may be used effectively uh, to grow closer to God. And uh, I would encourage you not to spend too much time uh, watching the news or, or on social media. Uh, Savour that one opportunity a day you get to, to enjoy some exercise. Uh, the news and social media can become all consuming and uh, can dominate to a, to a negative effect. And so take care of your, yourselves in that way. Count your blessings, be grateful for the small things, your daily bread, that prayer line in the Lord's Prayer takes on a new meaning for us today, doesn't it? Thanking God for our daily bread. Uh, call a friend to check if they're okay. Establish good routines for yourself uh, and uh, look after one another. Paul said to the people he wrote to, I long to see you, and that is true of me, I long to see you face to face, uh, but for the time being our communication will have to be virtual. You are a precious church family, precious to me, precious to each other I know, and I love the way you are uh, continuing to come together at this time and continuing to support one another. Can I finish just by saying that we believe in a God who brings light out of darkness. He did it on the cross uh, through Jesus' death. He brought hope and resurrection uh, through what looked like a desperate situation. And let's pray and be confident that God will do that again in these times. So can I finish by saying the grace? Maybe you might join in with me. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.